What's this chord for? You can make various bells in the castle ring by pulling it. But there's only one chord. Who needs more? The trap is still Lizzie attached it. Maybe it's a I wonder whether the fear drank the wine, or was it the last sip of some unfortunate soul here? <laughs> Ugh. The wine must have been here quite a while, it's gone really sour. It's sad when you think that none of these things can ever be used by their owners again. Who knows who this flute used to belong to? I'm sure he or she would have loved to have played it for many years more. Maybe I can give it a new purpose. Vinegar and oil. Why do people always say the cooking isn't as easy as it looks? Count? Yes, Seagull? Your table awaits, Master. Is that to your satisfaction? Mmm, yes, delightful. Thank you, Master. I have prepared the, um, uh, salad for the young lady. Rocket salad with vinegar oil and strips of chicken breast? Yes, um, exactly. Excellent. Pull the cord, Igor. Let my little bunny rabbit know it's time to eat. It depends on how hard you pull it. Pull a bit harder than middle strength to start with, and then about a third less at the end. Okay. No, middle strength to start with, then a bit less at the end. No, that was the stables. Why don't you just do what I tell you? There you go. I don't need you anymore today, Igor. I will be spending the rest of the evening and the night 
with my fiance. Very well, master. Psst. Hey, Shorty. Oh, hello, Miss Kiki. What's with this place? Where's the gold? Gold? Yeah, jewelry, precious stones, that sort of thing. I ain't found none. Maybe the Count isn't that rich. A Count living in a big castle? Of course he's rich. The only question is, where is he hiding it? Hey, what's that? I wanted to talk to you about that. It's sealed by seven, um, seals. Maybe you could open one of them. Ooh, what do you think's in it? Um, what could a chest like this hold? A treasure, of course. You have to learn to lie better, and quickly. But the fact that you are trying tells me there must be something valuable in it. I don't know, but it must be important. Well, if it's important to someone, it'll also be valuable. And you want to steal it? Well, steal... Count me in. As future Countess, it practically belongs to me anyways. What do I have to do? Come with me. Just open that seal over there. Why don't you do it? I can't. It has to be opened by someone very special. Ah, I understand. You need a woman's touch. Something like that. Well, that was simple. That it? That's it. Interesting to know that you could do it. Tell me when you got that thing open, and don't even think about simply disappearing with my stuff. Very well, Miss Kiki. Now, I'll go humor the old fart. I'm sure with a little persuasion, I'll be able to find out where he stashed the rest of his treasure. This was the first seal, or the third, depending on how you count them. The Count has opened the first two seals using the instructions in the diary. That leaves five. The truly greatest mage of all time. Who could that have been for an egomaniac like Ashcroft Van Buren? Archmage Alistair? Or, of course, he means himself. Which, which presents a problem. Van Buren is pointing at a key. Is he trying to mock me? Could that be the invisible key that is visible to all? Only, where is it? That's just a picture. How am I supposed... Or... Is it? That's a pretty neat trick. That was easy. So, that's over half the seals open. That's more than weird. Why is Master Alistair trying to contact me through the mirror? And it looked almost as if he didn't have the strength to stay. Of course, he's still transformed, so he can't use his magic properly. Hmm, a ghost over a symbol. Maybe I'm supposed to summon him. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello, Mr. Weathervane. After the sorcerer was chopped up, where did you bury his bits? Oh, you know, here and there. Not all in one grave? Oh, no. It was feared that his brother or someone else could try to bring him back to life. 
So his remains were spread nice and neatly across several graves over the land, and none of them carries his name. <laughs> He's part of the sorcerer buried in the cemetery? Uh, I'm, um, not at liberty to say. We swore never to say a word about which grave his left hand is buried in and which holds his right leg. <gasps> oh! Oh, come on, just say it. Which grave's he buried in? My lips are sealed. <sighs> someone like you knows all about summoning ghosts, right? What do you mean, someone like me? Well, an expert on the occult, like yourself. Oh, well, <laughs> I will actually do know a bit more about it than just how to keep the beasts at bay. <laughs> I mean, I've certainly never tried to invoke a ghost. <laughs> Why should I? <laughs> but it is, in principle, very easy. Now, you draw a circle on the ground with chalk and a triangle outside the circle. You place a bowl of blood in the triangle and you also have to light some frankincense. Then you have to draw the symbol of the ghost you'd like to invoke on the ground while reciting a secret invocation. How does it go? Come over here. Ghosts have good ears. The secret plan is to put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay. Then that's it. Yeah, that's it. Does the triangle have to be connected to the circle? And does it have to be an isosceles triangle or just any old one? And how long should the edge be? It doesn't matter. This is necromancy, not geometry. Does it have to be chalk, or can I use something else? Ooh, and how thick do the lines have to be? Draw a circle on the floor with something and a random triangle somewhere outside it. That doesn't sound much like a precise science. Do you sell chalk? Well, I would if I had any, but I used my last piece of chalk on the sacred circle. Is the bowl with the blood in the triangle necessary? <laughs> of course it's necessary. The blood represents the world of the living, into which you call the ghost. Archmage Alistair isn't dead. Can I just leave the blood part out? The occult sciences are not well suited to experiments. One mistake and you open the gates of hell. I'm a gnome. Every invention we come up with is close to opening the gate of hell. That doesn't scare me at all. The blood goes in the bowl, the bowl goes in the triangle. End of. Why do we need the incense? Well, for the atmosphere. And it would be best if you did the invocation somewhere dark with lots of candles. Do you think ghosts really care? It's ancient handed down knowledge. Just like the fact that necromancy is best carried out on the weekend when you've already had a bit to drink. Okay, okay. I never thought that it would be so easy to summon a ghost. Oh, well, it depends, of course, on the ghost. I mean, if you want to summon Zool, you'll also need a keymaster and a gatekeeper. Uh, for other spirits, you'll need some clay and a romantic song. Or just call their name three times. <laughs> but if the ghost wants to make contact with you, oh, it's really easy. I'm supposed to draw the ghost symbol on the floor. No idea. Hmm, but how about if I perform? But that we've only just got rid of it. wasn't a curse. Ah, uh, no. Hmm, and who? Do you know how to say open in Rattish? Oh, well, I could let you know what I... That was only a... I have to... Hmm, the sorcerer must be buried around here somewhere. Hmm, they always seem to be family graves. And if you want to save space, it says Lagozi on this gravestone. Hmm, they always seem to be family graves. And if you want to save space, this is the Lee family grave. This is the Karloff family gravestone. Here lies the Karloff family.
This cross bears the name Cheney. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello, Mr. Weathervane. About the graves in the cemetery. Mm, yes. The Lee family, were they a long-established family in the village? Who? Oh, right! The, uh, the Lees! Yes, oh, they're, 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 um, oh, they were. Uh, yes, it's very long-established, yeah. So, what can you tell me about them? Well, there was some... Um, uh, uh, Shield Hand Lee, he was um, a smith. And, um... Um... His wife, Fire, yeah, uh, Fire Anna. She she was um very hot. Uh huh. I think I know what I need to know. I have to be getting off. Oop. Whale didn't have anything believable to say about the Lee family, almost as if they weren't from the village. I'm pretty sure in there's a Van Buren, not a Lee. Mayor Whale didn't have anything. I'm pretty sure it. Hmm, they're at the edge of pieces of charcoal. I wonder whether I can use it as a substitute for chalk during the summoning. And I'm sure you can draw with it. At least my fingers are black with the stuff. And I can't really imagine Archmage Alistair caring about whether he's summoned using white chalk or black charcoal. You can't be picky with that sort of thing. Esther? Yes? I think the book is in a large chest in the castle. A chest sealed with seven seals. Can I help? I, uh, need a hand. Yes? From... from a grave. Of course, from a grave. Chopping someone's hand off while they're alive wouldn't be very polite, would it? It must be a certain hand, from the sorcerer Van Buren. He's buried in the Lee family grave. Okay. Do you just need the hand? Or is there anything else I can get you? Um, <laughs> just the hand, please. Well, I'll get going straight away. Hmm, while I'm about it, I might as well see whether I can find a new left kidney. You, uh, you're not upset if I don't join you, are you? No, no problem. Come by later and I'll hand you the hand, right? Thank you. Do you know how to summon a ghost? Um, no. Gulliver used to house share with two ghosts just before we met. I think he would have loved to know how to banish ghosts back then. Pity. See you later, Esther. I have to go. Bye. Count's distracted. This is my chance. Theoretically, I need blood, but maybe this thick red wine will do the trick. It's safe to take a closer look at the letter now. The Count's distracted. Wanted for the murder of Archmage Alistair, the scurvy, dangerous, armed and stinky fiend Wilbur Weathervane. The Honourable Council Leader Van Buren has posted a reward of the villain's weight in gold, naked, before breakfast, for the apprehension of the offender. It's followed by a detailed description of me. Not like it was even necessary. 
This picture of me next to the Archmage is razor sharp. The amount of detail the engravers carved into the printing plates is amazing. I wonder if Lizzie will turn me in if she learns of the pile of gold. There's a lot of detail in the picture of the Archmage and me. If it weren't so tiny, you could probably even recognize the Archmage's family crest on his amulet thing. I think it's, um, oh, no, it's just too small. It's not frankincense, but these incense sticks will create some atmosphere. I still can't believe that this smell is important for summoning a ghost, but what the heck? Atmosphere. Pure atmosphere. Then, to summon the Archmage, I have to draw his symbol on the floor while reciting the spell. Unfortunately, I don't know the right symbol. The Archmage can do all kinds of tricks. Maybe he can separate his spirit from his body. I guess I'm supposed to summon him as a ghost. Summon in a ghost. Right then, to summon the arch and fall. Hmm, there really is a lot of detail in the picture of the Archmage and me. If it weren't so tiny, you could probably even recognize the Archmage's family crest on his amulet thing. I think... I could use the glass as a magnifying glass to see more details. Yes, it works! There's the Archmage's neck, and there's his thing with the family crest. It shows two serpents in a kind of knot, biting their own tails.